morning. It is the next day. What is today? Well, it's Saturday. Good morning. It is Saturday, day eight, and we are getting room service. Breakfast hey, hey, served to us. And Savannah's doing little acti homework activities. So the boys are just sitting here playing and Savannah's been working on her homework workbook. And here's the food, room service. So today is a Pokemon community day. So Blake's gonna try to um, try to get Pokemon off the boat. And the kids and I are just gonna walk around and maybe see some of the things we haven't seen before like we haven't gone up to the go-karts. We haven't looked at the laser tag. And so that's probably what we'll do today. But we just love these sea days. Like I think we could go on a cruise that was just sea days because we love them so much. And there's a lot to do on board too. Just dropped Savannah off. Taking a break to check out the slide that goes over the edge of the ship. Checking out the mojito bar outside on the Waterfront. Beautiful view. Two beautiful views. We tried to get a uh, virgin mojito at the mojito bar, but it's not open until noon. And right now it's like 11:40. And I would say so far that is like one of the complaints I have about the ship is that. There's like all, everything has like different hours, weird hours, it's like kind of hard to keep up with. How can you complain with that view though? Yeah, yeah. Probably one of our top three favorite things about this cruise is the waterfront. Yeah. This area, just walking just around. Just walking it. around. Usually you have to do it on the top deck on like other cruises. We've been on and it's nice. We have this level. <laughs> Gelato caught our eye. Look at this. Caroline's in there getting a macaroon. And check this out. Alright, Shepard, you want some? So I went inside and got a raspberry macaroon and a milk chocolate bonbon. Then Blake has his salted caramel gelato. Safe now. <laughs> so we're back. They can't keep us away from the Haven restaurant. The whole deck to herself. I got caffeine. She got caffeine in there. Saxon's being great. We're listening to music and just watching people go down the slide. This restaurant is amazing. All right, the boys and girls have woken up from their nap. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. 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 Okay, so then we're going to take them up to eat in the buffet for dinner. We're going to get ready and then we're going to eat at Los Lobos. Is that how you pronounce it? Los Lobos. For dinner, the Mexican restaurant, and then we're going to see the Beatles. So we're having a little date night tonight. I know, we have an eventful night tonight. I'm so excited. Saxon's making some art. No, he's not. He's just playing with the markers. He's just playing with the markers. Uh, well, it's his art. Yeah, that's his. And he eats the markers. <laughs> Artists are weird sometimes. So we took the kids to the buffet for dinner. And somebody wouldn't eat. Didn't behave very well. But when we were walking back from dinner, the um, hostess that we love saw Saxon and was like blowing kisses at him and he kissed, made a kissy noise back. So I'm gonna try to see if he'll do it. Saxon go mwah, mwah. Mwah. Mm, mwah. <gasps> Yay! Go mwah. Okay, so we're at Los Lobos at our reservations. The kids are with the parents. There's a nice little bar on the outside, but it is. We're waiting to see if there's a table for us outside because we want to sit on the waterfront. And then the steakhouse. And the steakhouse is right across Cagney's. The smells right here are just amazing. Looks like the margaritas are on this little pad. 
That's cool. Pedo chips and salsa, classic. Here's the menu. Looks delicious. We're getting guacamole table side. And I'm getting a, a margarita. Tequila old fashioned. So good. Oh my goodness. So the guac and salsa, as you can see, we filled up on it, but we've made room for the rest, and it looks so good. I bet it's just as good. Oh my gosh. What? Is that an airship? Okay, so we were sitting here eating, and Blake was filming me, and I just kind of like glanced out, and I saw what I thought was like almost like a helicopter crashing. It was like a red and green kind of like flash going downward, and I was like, that was weird. And then I was like asking Blake, like, wait, that's not a shooting star. It wasn't in like the where in the sky where like a shooting star would be. And then the lady in the table over like saw it too. Anyway, so we kind of think it was maybe UFO because we're out here. It's Part. It was definitely a UFO. <laughs> Alright, we got the tres leches cake and I got a Mexican coffee. They have ninja spy training today. Alright, we just finished lunch and we're about to go to the show or dinner and we're about to go to the show. Going to see the Beatles or someone perform Beatles. Hi! 